I'm in front of my fruit tree grow light tonight to start a new moisture sensing project. As you can see, my two fruit trees have dropped a lot of leaves and aren't doing too well. This is because I transitioned them inside for the winter much too quickly, causing them to stress out and drop leaves. The idea behind this moisture sensing project is to allow my fruit trees to email me when they need to be watered. Let's head to the workbench and get things started. The moisture sensor is going to consist of this moisture probe and this microcontroller that is similar to something like an Arduino, which you've maybe heard of before, but is called a Photon and is from Particle. The Photon has built-in Wi-Fi along with several analog and digital GPIO pins. This moisture sensor uh, basically consists of this probe, which is really just two metallic prongs. I've tinned these up, added solder to them to help prevent them from rusting since they will be sitting in a moist plant. And then it also comes with this analog to digital converter. You can get these fairly cheaply on Amazon or eBay. I'm not going to need to use that because the Photon has analog input pins on here. But if you're using something like a Raspberry Pi that only has digital I.O. pins, then you would need to use this converter here which has a knob on it that allows you to set a threshold and once that threshold is hit it'll send a digital reading to something like a Raspberry Pi. I won't need that since we have analog to digital on the Photon and so all I need to do is wire this up directly to the Photon. But first I need to extend these wires so that I have the proper reach from the probe to the Photon. So we now have two very long wires with some female headers on them that we can plug into A0 and A1 on the Photon and those will be our analog inputs. And then the other side of those get plugged into the moisture sensor. Now that we've got all the hardware assembled, we can go ahead and log into the computer and get the software written for the moisture sensor. I'm here in the Particle Web IDE, which is a web-based development environment for the particle devices like the Photon. It should look fairly familiar to you if you're familiar with Arduino programming. Our first two lines of code here set up the A0 and A1 pins that we're going to use. A0 will be used for a power pin and A1 will be used to take the readings. The next variable I have here is called timestamp, which is going to log the timestamp of the last time we sent an email so that we only send an email every 24 hours and I don't get a lot of emails in my inbox. The next value is a configurable dryness threshold. So this is the value that it needs to be less than or equal to in order for it to send an email. I currently have it set to above the max value that the moisture probe will send so that it will always send me an email and then in the future I can keep evaluating the number that I get each day and decide what number actually means that the plant is dry. And finally we have a variable here that's the delay period. This is how often the probe will take a reading of the plant. And we have the value that we're going to store so the analog value here will store the last reading from the plant. The function here called get reading, which first does a digital write, which powers on our probe. So it puts power on pin A0. This is so that our probe doesn't always have power. It only has power when I go to take a reading. Then there's a slight delay. And then I do an analog read of the probe pin, A1, to get the actual value. And then we do another digital write of a low write to the power pin to power down the probe, and another slight delay. But another method here called send email. This uses the particle webhook functionality so I was able to configure a method 
on their website called send email which actually handles sending the email and all I do is pass the analog value to it. Now they have another method here called check threshold so this is what decides if an email needs to go. We first check to see if the analog value is less than or equal to the dryness threshold which is currently set to 5000 and then we check the timestamp to make sure that an email hasn't gone out in less than 24 hours and if that's the case we send the email and we reset the timestamp. Those are just method declarations that we have so far. The next two functions are what actually allow the photon to run and do things. The setup method is what initializes everything when the photon first powers up. So the first two lines here set our pin modes. So we set the power pin as an output pin and we set our reading pin as an input pin. There's also another line here that I will get to in a little bit. Our loop method here is what actually does the work. So after the setup method runs on first power up, it then continues to run the loop method over and over and over. And that's where we do our work. The first thing I do then is call the get reading function. It gets our reading. Then we do the check threshold, which checks if an email needs to be sent, and if so, sends the email. And then there's a delay command here, which uses that delay variable and delays the system for one hour to, until it does a reading again. This last method, read value, allows me to make remote calls into the photon over the internet in case I want to test it out or just get a reading through, through a different app. So all it does is get a reading and sends an email. That gets wired up with this particle function here, which tells the particle website to expose my read value here as a unique endpoint that I can access through an API key to read my values and send a test email. Now that the code is complete, you can click this checkbox here, which compiles the code and verifies that everything's working right. And finally, I can click this flash button, which will actually flash the hardware device with the new code that restarts the device and with the restart, we'll send an email with the moisture sensing. The device has now restarted. Timestamp was set to minus one, so it ran immediately and sent out an email and shows me the moisture reading is 3,984. Threshold is currently at 5,000, so it's gonna always send me the email. And once I establish what the actual reading is for a dry pot, then I'll go ahead and lower it to that so it'll only email me when it actually needs to be watered. Now that the code is all written up, I'm going to go ahead and go into Fusion 360, design up a case for the Photon, and 3D print that out, and we'll be all set. If you found this project interesting and are considering doing it yourself, feel free to check out the links in the description below to the products I used, like the Particle Photon, the Moisture Sensor, and even my 3D printer. If you do plan to do a project like this and use a microcontroller like the Particle Photon, you don't actually need to buy a moisture sensor. The Particle Photon has analog inputs and so you can actually build your own moisture sensor. I plan to do this in a future project video, and if you subscribe to the channel and click notifications, you'll know as soon as that video is available. 
If you're interested in any of my other projects, feel free to check those out here, and I'll see you with my next project video.